Hey there, welcome back to the next video in Digital Marketing Tools Mastery. This is Kamna Jain, Digital Marketing Executive from Team Digital Deepak. In today's video, we are covering a video conferencing app which is known as GoToMeeting. So GoToMeeting is basically meant for meetings as the name really says. And you can organize meetings, invite people, collaborate and do a ton of other things. So in today's video, what we will be seeing is how you can go ahead, schedule a meeting on GoToMeeting. You guessed it, right? The various features, some of them being recording. There's a level of personalization as well, which they offer, which I really liked in the meeting links that you can share. And there's a wonderful way to set up a welcome message for your attendees. So we'll have a look at that as well. I personally found that feature really cool. We'll have a look at the pricing and we'll also quickly see how GoToMeeting is different from GoToWebinar. So let's jump in. Now this is their website. I've chosen India as the location. Let me take you to the plans and pricing. So you can see the first plan, the professional plan is available for $12 per month. So if we see it comes to around 900 rupees per month and you can conduct a meeting with 150 participants business plan available at 16 dollars roughly 1200 rupees meeting with 250 people and the enterprise plan where you can have up to 3000 participants in a meeting you can contact the sales team and there are a ton of features and they also offer some add-ons as you can see here adding the uh, webinar light if you like. And here also, again, you have the same add-on available at the same price. And more often than not, you can see that the features in the professional and business plan are pretty much common apart from the few ones towards the end. So you can go through them in details before actually choosing the plan. An important thing here is if you see, GoToMeeting is one tool and GoToWebinar is another. And if you have actually used any other conferencing software like Zoom, you will be able to understand that what happens in a meeting is all the participants are able to interact with each other, meaning they can turn on their mics, their videos, and even chat with each other. But technically in a webinar, it is mainly meant for presenting, maybe where you're trying to teach people, explain new concepts and things around that so that's what you would use webinar for but when it comes to kinds the kinds of events where you would like interaction you would obviously choose go to meeting so they actually offer a 14 day free trial and here in our team even we use zoom but i went out and tried go to meeting for some purposes and it has a ton of features which we'll have a look at now so here's the account which I have and it was used for certain purposes. So the first thing is I will take you to my profile and the basic settings which you should be updating there. So it's just your profile photo, name, preferred language. A very important thing you need to keep in mind is this time zone because by default it will be set to the US I think. So just go here and choose GMT plus 530 for India and these are some details which you can update but they are not mandatory and here you can just edit your password connect your social accounts and a few other basic settings so that's just about the profile bit and now let's get into the part where we actually create the meetings so here's a room first of all which allows you to start an instant meeting this is a one time meeting. So if you want to schedule a meeting, you can click on create meeting and here's how you can schedule it. Say meeting title. You can just put in something like say Facebook ads Q and a session, for example. And if you choose online meeting room, what happens is you don't have to choose a date and time. Say you know, you're doing it every week. So you just choose online meeting room and you can all your attendees can actually join back using the same link so you don't have to keep sending it to them one time meeting as the name says is for a meeting which you just want one so go ahead and choose the date 
choose the time. This is obviously tentative, even if it exceeds its all right. And here's where you choose the audio and some long distance numbers if you want to activate calling, uh, basically joining by audio only. Now coming to personalize, here's where you can actually personalize the link which you share. So you just click here. So this is your default link name, which will be there in every link, joining link in fact, which you share. So you can just add something like say Facebook ads and that's all. Your link will be ready. Click on more and you'll be able to add co-organizers as well as choose if you want a password or not. So that's pretty much it. Once you're done, you can just click on save and the meeting would be scheduled. So as you can see here, here's how you can see the meeting, edit anything, if at all you want to change. And this is the link which you can share with your attendees or the entire invitation. Now, another thing is you should actually keep this in mind because it can be confusing. So say anytime you're actually on your home page basically let me just bring you back to the main account and what happens here is this invitation link which you see this is not the invitation for your scheduled webinar or you know the upcoming meeting in fact this is your meeting personal meeting link which you can use anytime and you just need to just share this link and start a meeting so this is your personal meeting link I would say and if you actually go to the history option you'll be able to see the list of webinars and you can just download them and see the ones which are recorded and use them in any way that you like. Now what I would like to do is I would like to start a meeting and show you how we can configure different settings there. So say I just start this meeting it will ask me to just authorize and check my mic, my video to see if everything's all right. Now I have already downloaded the desktop app, so it will just open there. That's right. So they're all set and it should be launching any second now. Great. So Here's how you can see a preview. This is for your mic. If you want to enter with it on or off, same thing for your camera. And you can also choose the microphone you would like to use and even the speaker and the webcam. And once you're ready, you can click on OK, I'm ready. And here is the interesting part. So basic things first, if you want to record it, just click on record. And as soon as you click it, you will hear something like the meeting is now being recorded. So as you can see, it started recording. And if I am just done with the part which I don't want to record, I can click on it again and click on stop recording. And here's where I can see the list of participants. And when it comes to the chat, if you want to send it to everybody, just the organizers and hear other settings. So again, if you have used a different microphone and you want to choose something else, you can change it here. Now comes the interesting part, the part which I was actually waiting for. So if you click here, you'll be taken to more settings and you can just change your name, the email ID, what you want to show and other basic settings. You can go to recordings and take care of your cloud recordings and whether you should get a notification before you convert the recordings and download them on your local system. Now when we come to meeting, if you see by default attendees can view the attendee list so if you uncheck it the participants will not be able to see who is actually attending the meeting and if you uncheck chat they will not be able to chat at all so that's what these two things will do and now when you consider this option when attendees arrive send a welcome message so if you check this what you can do is you can set up any message here basically give any instruction to your attendees and as soon as anybody joins they will get this notification and again this is about the screen sharing these are your webcam settings now another good feature here is if you see this is how the camera is being viewed right now if i make it widescreen you'll be able to see like a wider picture as you can see here right 
So that's what this does. I think that's a pretty cool feature to offer. And here's how you can see the updates. So yeah, this is pretty much about the interface. And one last thing is, here's how you can choose what camera to show, whether you would like to see everyone who's there on the call, just the person who's talking, active cameras, or you would not like to see anybody's camera, but just the logo or the screen which is being shared. And you can leave the meeting here. And if there's anyone else, it will show you the option whether you want to make someone else the host. So this is how the web version works basically and typically. And it's always a good idea to have the app installed on your system. And you saw that anytime you're going to start a meeting or you're going to join a meeting, it will prompt you to download the application on your desktop. Now I'll also quickly show you the desktop app basically. And this is how it looks. So all the meetings which you have scheduled, if you just click on this drop down, you'll be able to see the list. You can just click and join. So that way it has a really simple interface. And if you want to start a new meeting, you can click on meet now and go to meeting will start a new meeting for you. Once that's done, as of now, we just exit it. And the other features which are available in the app are these. So you can schedule a meeting directly from here. So you can enter the name, the date, the time, the audio settings, co-organizers and the password. And you'll be able to schedule it. And if you would like to have a look at the meetings which are coming up for you. So this is your personal meeting room technically. And this is the scheduled meeting. And you can invite people, edit, delete and start the meetings from here. So pretty much it does offer what you need. And even we have been using Zoom. If you would like to know more about how to use Zoom, you should check out the video in Digital Marketing Tools Mastery itself. There's an overview of how you can go ahead, use it, sign up, and see which one suits your needs best, compare the pricings, and take a call. I hope this video was helpful, and you'll consider this as an option if it meets your requirements when you're conducting your meeting. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comment section below and I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching and goodbye.